Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Gotta be ready. Gotta be ready. I don't really like beer that much, guys. Let's scrap on you. What up, y'all? Alright, I'ma fuck with you. Alright, bro. Hey man, look at my boy Jalen. Clean. That's a big bag. Tell me a little bit about yourself, real quick. So basically, uh, I have a brand, Divine Presence. Go check it out. Another thing is uh, working in medicine right now too. I gotta get my mask. All right, guys. So you guys see the band too? And my guys, Jalen. About to go to Genia and get some good, good, good eats. All right, vlog. So. We are at Genia, as you can see here. Yes, yeah, one of the best uh, ramen places in Houston, so make sure to check I've it out. I've never actually been here, so we're gonna, I'm yep. playing, so hey, we're gonna find out how, how it is. Actually, what's the one in Sugarland? Is it in Town Center or is it somewhere I else? I think it's in Town Center. They just built it. There's one in Sugarland now and uh, Katy. Okay. And like uh, up in the woodlands. I went to a, a ramen place that's in Sugarland, but I didn't, I don't remember what it's called actually. Okay. It's in Town Center. I don't know which place that is actually. That might have been Genia. Okay, well, shoot. Okay, cool. So, we're inside Junior right now. I have a, I don't even know what this one is called. Kirin Ichiban. I've never had a beer before, so I got my first one. You got the one. Like Sapporo? So, I'm, I'm, I'm butchering the name. It's Japanese. Hopefully, y'all can see that. If not, it's okay. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try this thing out. Alright, so this is what we got going on here. Mine is here too, bro. It's about to go hard. Let's grub. It was actually, that was a good vibe. That was a good vibe for sure. I'll smell you, bro. I can only imagine what it's like when, you know, COVID's not around. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, Saturday or something. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's the place to go, what, honey dip, honey? <laughs> Saturday, bro, like, anything you do on the weekend is, like, really popping. Right now, it's kind of, like, more like an older crowd, but you got to get back out here again, bro. No cap. As soon as I slide in this Tesla, man, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna feel unstoppable. With the Tesla? Yeah, bro. No, I'm telling you. Once I get that whip, man, I'm gonna feel literally unstoppable because I'm like, damn, this is what I've been working on for so long. Finds I get my grasp on it. <laughs> Ladies, beware. When I get the Tesla, I don't know. I don't know. All right, my guy. All right, bro. It's good link. Uh, you be easy, bro. You be for good. real, man. Keep doing your thing. I'll catch you later. Oh, I got you, got you. Got that thing on you, right, B, we got that scrap on you. What up, y'all? All right, I'm gonna fuck with you. All right, bro. Two weeks later. All right, so we're about to go thrifting at my favorite thrift spot for the low. You guys follow me on TikTok. You can see it already. I already posted it before, so y'all just check it on there. But we're about to get this rolling, so uh, I'll show you guys. I feel like I could do something with this too if you lay your right. Yeah, for real. That's a nice piece. Yeah, no, I'm probably gonna top this. 50 cents. So I'm trying to do it in my mind too is like find stuff I can put on some deep pop and then see what new stuff I can add to the repertoire. Time for a new for a new uh overhaul. Let's see, classic fit. 18, that's not gonna happen. Okay. 
Now, I kind of like this piece, but the back of it is beat. And also, this hood is so trash. Like their brand? Yeah. Then blow it up. Same as on like the back. That. Back thing. That'd be paint. fire. Okay, that, yeah. What's it called? Um, you know, the reason I was like that is because there's this one time where I um, was about to get this black guest leather jacket, bro. Yeah. It was so hard. <laughs> and then it had mold on it. It was like moldy, bro. And I was like, bro, I could clean it, but I was like, nah, I don't think so. So you guys see this right here. This is something you don't see that often when you go out thrifting. This is a long sleeve collared shirt. Okay. Some slide. This may this will probably find its way to my, my depop. So y'all stay tuned. Oh. <laughs> bro, I love finding pants like this with the waistband because they're like mom jeans or whatever, right? But I have yeah. a pair. I wish they feel a little bit better on the bottom part of my leg, but they were still cool. This, we got the hey, yeah. Uh, I was calling my name. Oh, shit. Oh, what the hell? You to get this with you know, Hey, oh, yeah. Wait, no, oh, no, I thought oh, it was wait a minute. Oh, bro, I'm messing up. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh. If you guys are watching right now, leave a comment if you saw something in here that you would actually cop, so that way I know what to get, y'all. Short sleeve button up. Yeah. Used to be my staple, dude. Like, I used to have so many of these, but, like, since I started really dressing, dressing, I don't wear them that much anymore. It. Yeah. Like, they used to, I usually just to toss one on and keep it moving, but, like, I'm cool on that now. It's a nice oh, color right there. <laughs> We got wood, we got boot, yeah. I'm not good. Yeah. Bag of I swear, low key, bro. Maybe you're feeling good, but like helping people. Yeah, especially when you like, like, you know you're making a difference, legit. Yeah. Shit, talking mushrooms. All right, feedback. No, it was a pretty good spot, bro. Like, it was not expensive. You know, I only busted out like, like $2 or so. So no, definitely we'll be coming back here. I looked at the sign. It's like Tuesdays and Wednesdays are the cheapest. Yeah. So no, that's pretty. And they restock on Thursdays usually. Okay, okay. Yeah. So that's why that's. Restock on Thursdays and then all the rest of the days are just like basically. So when it's getting closer to Thursday, uh -huh. you start dropping the prices. You can get you some of that. Oh yeah. But yeah, no, it's a pretty cool spot, bro. And then it's like it's cra like clothes is crazy because it's like you can find good pieces for like cheap. You just really got to look. Yeah, and this is how you look in it. All the stuff I wear that most of you guys see, you don't understand. Most of the stuff I wear is only 50 cents. This shirt is 50 cents. Right. It's, all, it's all about, what's it called? It's not about the product, it's about the the dresser. Yeah. If that makes sense. You gotta know how to style it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta know your stuff. Uh, here, of course, the yeah. big ass 18 wheeler. Yeah, so. not in Houston, bro, like uh, people really do not know how to drive in the city. Oh, so like, man. you know people always trying to pull out in front of you, hit their brakes quick. Gotta, gotta be you. ready. Gotta be ready. Gotta be set. Expect the unexpected. Ready. There goes a the guy right there, actually, funny enough. Yeah, no, he's a he's a cool dude, bro. Like he asked me like when you left, whatever, like if I had any plans for Christmas and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. Well, that's what's up. Dude, I wrote his family letters. That's I don't know, bro. Like poverty. I feel like bro, honestly, if like we come out with the solution in the next 20 years, the one that I told you about, bro, mm -hmm. and that's straight, if we could like if I could fix medicine, bro. Man, the amount of like money that's gonna be channeled into like other streams, bro, is about yeah. to be ridiculous. Cause I feel like, as far as what you, you were talking about too, I think like if you concentrate in that area as well, it relieves the pressure from the other areas. So like, yeah, instead of them forcing to make money off of that main main mode, that main route, there's a couple of different avenues that break off of that. Mm -hmm. I think that's a big thing too. A lot of people don't understand is like, whenever you're doing something. Uh, whatever it is you're doing, you don't have to expect that one thing you're doing to be that main thing. I think what's screwed up and why that's a mindset is simply because of the way like we go through school and stuff like that. They're like, oh, what's gonna be that one thing like you're gonna pursue, you're gonna become um, uh, an accountant or whatever, and that's like the only yeah. thing we do. And we program ourselves to only think that you can only do that one thing, which is not really the case. Be really good at one thing and have a couple other things that can help support that thing, you know, if that makes sense. So um, in that regard, I think that a lot of people get lost in the sauce when it comes to that because they're like, oh, if I'm only I can only be good at that one thing if I'm doing anything else it's not gonna be good or whatever but not the truth you know find the things that you're passionate about and you don't have to make money off that main thing okay usually what happens is if you focus on that one thing and it starts to go somewhere different avenues and opportunities always break off of that and it's gonna be up on the right further now yeah so we just got this dryer you know I'm saying another day in the life nothing yeah. too major nothing crazy some slight yeah easy. I'm about to go hop in right now what did you think about the ride it was great and apparently, I've never been on live television before, but apparently sometimes I don't watch the sh I don't watch the news. 
So we just got some crumble, one of my favorite cookie places, literally. The girl recognized me, that's how bad it is. I've been there so many times. She's like, I, I know you've been here before. So I was like, okay, and we get it. You know what that means? She won. Yes, oh great and mighty grand champion. Is there something you need? Back rub, perhaps? Oh, gee, you sure? Okay, well, bye.